Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. I have barely eaten today, and there's a delicious meal in front of me. Yes. We're gonna have some burritos. We got brown rice. And I made this like concoction of chickpeas, beans, tomatoes, onions, lentils, all sorts of things. And then I think we're going to put some chips inside and some buffalo sauce. All right, folks. I had a bad day at work. This is my awesome lamp. This is my awesome mirror. This is the best couch and second best purchase I've ever made in my entire life. First purchase being third best purchase, first purchase, best first Best purchase being Sarah's engagement ring. Second best purchase being my wedding. What about Eve? Eve wasn't a purchase. She was a gift from the heavens above to my life. Born to chew on the bottom of my jeans. So this is the I third best. I had a bad day too. Wait. I woke up, slammed a glass against the ground. <laughs> I hit it with my elbow. Then I had to clean it. And then Eve puked everywhere. She did. She chose to come on the couch and to puke <laughs> down so that it would splash everywhere. And that's how I chose to wake up, wake up Sarah. I woke up Sarah and said, sweetie, can you please help me? Because I was running late. I don't think there was work. a sweetie involved. <laughs> but she also puked on her new blanket. But now She's it's right washed. here if you want to show her. Yeah. Hope that was in focus. <laughs> So, um, so we're ready for a chill night. We're gonna about to go to a yeah, resort. Today was brutal. But I have to go on like a long run since I didn't yesterday. Okay. But we're gonna go see some friends who are on vacation, yeah. who we haven't seen in a long time, and they're ready for just a chill night. Yeah. I just wanted to show you how beautifully bright it is, and we're leaving our apartment right now. Look how bright the ground is. It really does feel so good that the sun is still out, and we didn't like we actually left kind of late. It's 7.04 and look how bright it is outside. Yeah, it's so nice. We're going to Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is nice because that's where we're staying this summer. Oh, and they have the same situation, don't they? Or yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're meeting up our friends, Alyssa and Matt. Mm -hmm. And a okay. cute little baby. Yeah, so Alyssa was starting to go through IUIs at the same time that we were. And um, so we just really connected yeah. over, you know, her watching our vlog and whatnot. And so it's really cool that her baby... Yeah, and that her baby is here at Disney. Like she's been having so many surreal moments today. So I'm excited to meet the little baby. Very. We used to turn left right here. Bring major flashbacks to where we used to live. Our for the old apartment. What yeah. street is? Oh yeah, Sherberth. Sure. This is the f secret off-road. So Sherberth, you won't find on Google Maps or anywhere mm -hmm. to get you on and off property on the yeah, south west corner back road but well, i think it's considered a service road for disney because they've got offices back there between here and 192 that it's not like featured on google maps and stuff to say like to get from point a to point b but look it up sherberth road if yeah. you need to get out of disney property on the southwest section easy peasy, easy peasy. yeah and um we used to live right off of 192 and so we would always take that way home it was easier for us to get on property a different way to get here um but it's such like a little easy piece of road sometimes it would get backed up but um during normal business hours but it would right. still take like five minutes to get from our apartment to animal kingdom Park. yeah that was that was the Check out these daily adventures. So we got Kadani. We got animal tracking, animal enrichment. Ooh, have you heard? African wonders, African journey, night vision goggles, Disney inside African designs, all the fun things. And then we got Jumbo House with the flamingo behavior, bio blocks, medallion rubbing, pin trading, African face painting, cultural safari, primal. Parade, ooh. Night vision, cookie decorating, always a good time. Stamp activity, animal enrichment, wildlife games, and music of the savannah. Yes. 
I love this. When we're here, this is where we're staying. We're staying in Kidani Village this summer, the family, and I cannot wait to soak up all the fun in. Um, did you notice those two, you just pointed them, those two hand-stitched blankets? Yeah, okay, nice. Are literally all of the like, originating families of Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kidani Village. Let That's us know awesome. down below if you are featured on this. We'll come That's back true. and find you. Mm. All right, so we took the little internal shuttle here, which was literally like a shuttle, wasn't like a It was a tiny a bus, bus, yeah. Over here to mm. Jumbo to get some yeah. snacks. I think I'm going to have beer. We were going to go to Sanaa, right. the lounge. But the lounge is really small. I never realized how small it was. Um, so we're at the Mara. There's so much good stuff here. All right, we're over here. We had our little snacks, and the family and friends ate. And I wanted to show them the cool night vision goggles. Wow, this lens is so good at night. So they got night, they got goggles, night vision goggles from sundown till 9.30 at night over here at Jumbo. Oh, no way it's working. I'm probably getting the lens so dirty, but there's a gazelle looking thing right there. Thought I heard something over there. Look at this, a nighttime safari. I didn't even know that was a thing. There is the gazelle looking thing right there. I love, love, oh, it knows there's probably snacks in that, in that truck. I want to do a nighttime safari bad. There's our little shuttle back to Kidani. Alright, so we didn't do too much vlogging time because we were just hanging out with friends. Yeah, it was so nice that we got to meet Maisie, her yeah. first trip out here because, so you know, um, Alyssa and Matt know to a degree what we're going through. Yeah. And to have that support and to see in real life, like, that it can get yeah, done. Realized. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So and nice. that we're on the road to do that. Yeah. And that if you are going through that, there's hope for you guys too. Yeah. Good, good stories of like, going through that and mm -hmm. making it out on the other what side. What family's saying, doctor's saying, what you're doing. Yeah. Also, they brought us cookies. Mimi's Bakery. Alyssa's Mimi threw this together. These are like a little bit more fancy cookies, but she put this all for us. These Snickers? <laughs> they look like it. I'm eating those in the car. <laughs> <laughs> this like is how I wake up every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wake up, I get out of bed, I make that face. And Eve makes that face. <laughs> Gives me a good old thumbs up. Funny enough, we actually met Alyssa's Mimi, her grandma, before anybody else. We ran into her at Magic Kingdom a long, like, Wait, long time ago. My grandma Because Alyssa, you. yeah, she had told her to be on the lookout for us. Um, so it's always so nice when. And now we like know the whole family. Yeah. The sisters, yeah. the parents. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. It's we so love fun. making friendships out of meeting you guys. Yeah. So we go to the box, we get in the car, and she goes, I don't want to overdo it. I don't, I'm only going to eat one. And she rips open the bag and pulls out the I know, first one. I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know which one to eat. Snickerdoodle. This is sprinkle and chocolate chip. Oh, I think I need one snickerdoodle and one of those. Okay. Here is a better look at all the cookies. There is snickerdoodle. And if I remember, these are lemon. Ooh, some pinky ones, chocolate chip. Now, the reason that we said we want to take it easy with these cookies is because they are not plant-based. And we didn't say this last night, but halfway through our pasta at Katie's, we realized that the pesto was not vegan. It had milk and eggs, um, but we still ate it. You know, we d we've decided that we are if we want something, we're gonna eat it. And we decided yesterday to just keep eating it, but both of us dealt with some <laughs> gassy pains today. Neither of us got sick, um, but still you can kind of tell that we did react, more than we reacted to the pizza, actually. Peter also had a piece of cake yesterday. Um, I had a tiny bite of cake, and then I also had a, like a garlic bread stick that had some sort of like Parmesan cheese on it. So like we were a little bit more um, lax yesterday, which maybe is why both of us weren't feeling well today. And so I'm, I'm like going to truly limit myself with these cookies. Um, 
because and just like see how I react to it. Um, it's always so kind of them to give them to us and they are so delicious and it is something that we want to eat. Um, what's cool is even their small family bakery, I mean they're, it's small but it's like really well known um, in their area um, that they've been getting requests to have plant-based options which is cool even you know a small town in Mississippi that people are starting to also um, request from them those types of things which would probably be coming soon or they're they're starting you know to think about it as more people ask for it um, but we're always so grateful for the treats we're gonna take it easy with them and hopefully I won't end up tomorrow how I felt today by just eating one maybe one every couple of days some weird things have gone down at our apartment it is March, what, 6th? We need our St. Patrick's Day. We do need our St. Patrick's Day out, but it's like March 6th. I take Eve out to go on a little walk, and what do we find by the dumpster? A bunch of remnants, yes, of foliage, I can never say that word properly, of the pine demeanor. It is March 6th. What? Monster still has a real Christmas tree in their apartment. And that's pretty great. Or should this monster become our very best friends? Because that is so Brookhart esque. Real Christmas tree till March? Touche, the backbone on you, people. I want to meet you. I want to shake your hand and give you all the respect in the world. I told them that, that we were sick today. Yeah, I just took a bunch of Excedrin. Did you tell me you were like but sick, sick, or like emotionally sick? No, I said that we ate. Dairy last night. Oh. Were yeah, I also had it was an emotionally stressful day too. Don't know why. It was just a bad case of the Mondays, but wasn't a great start to the week. And then I had a headache, and I just took Excedrin. There's all my woes for the day. Thank you for coming to my complaining TED talk. But now this TED talk and complainingness of of woes is being turned around by bringing you a lesson in nurturing life into the world. I'm gonna use this jar which I forgot where we got it from, but I definitely kept it. it. used to have something that's sticky label that I cleaned off. So, recycling. Also gonna take advantage of this purple dark opal basil from the completing the garden grace challenge. They have instructions on the back on how to plant them. Have an adult to make drainage holes in your garden grace cup. Sarah, can you make uh, holes in my cup, please? It says I need an adult. Uh, step two is going to be me pushing the, the, the loose dirt down a little bit, get a little bit wet, and then put those seeds in there, and then put soil on top. So there is what the moist soil looks like. I've got my seeds here. And you know what, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to toss them a little bit around here, and then we're going to put more soil on top and a little bit of water just to keep it moist. We don't want to keep getting too wet until the seedlings sprout. Here it is. So in about a week and a half to two weeks, those seedlings will sprout out the top soil there and have a purple color to our new plants. So add to the collection. All right, today is Monday the 9th. Let's see, we are exactly, tomorrow will be two weeks until our doctor appointment. But today's quote, oh, I listen to a lot of motivational videos in the morning and on my car ride to work. This is by Zig Ziglar. Yes. Never blame anyone in your life. Good people give you happiness. Bad people give you experience. Worst people give you a lesson. Best people give you memories. We're going to pause and we're going to repeat that bad boy. Never blame anyone in your life. Good people give you happiness. Bad people give you experience. Worst people give you a lesson. And best people give you memories. Thanks, Zig. Today was just one of those days, you know? It was a more calm day. It was a Monday. We were getting in the swing of the week. Um, Sarah had a busy, productive day. Later start. We both had weird days. Um, Eve's eating a snack. As I'm getting excited, I ran 20 miles last week from last Saturday to 
Friday, and then I ran six miles on Saturday this week, and I took Sunday and I took today off, so now I'm not going to take another day off. So I'm hoping to get to 26 miles this week, do five days of at least four miles. Um, but I'm, I'm really feeling good about getting back in the running. Still haven't, still waiting on ACS to figure out the fine print with World Marathon, but now I decided I'm going to start strategizing and semi-reaching out to companies or at least getting feelers and starting to organize which ways we can do big, big, big ticket events or sponsored donations or collaborations where we work with companies. So if you work for a company that is looking for a big philanthropic two-year strategy plan, um, you can reach out to us. We've got plenty of things up here that we're just trying to think of, but um, tomorrow... I don't think anything is set in stone tomorrow on what we're doing, but I feel like we need to get out into a park to rejuvenate our week with some of that theme park Central Florida magic. But we love you guys. Thank you for following along with us. And uh, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.